In the nation of Hungary, the Seventh-day Adventist Church and a breakaway group of hundreds of former members recently made a significant stride toward reconciliation after a 40-year rift. According to the Adventist Review, the Hungarian church split in 1975 as a result of a protest by young pastors and members over local church leaders' collaboration with an organization called Council of Free Church that later became a tool for the communist state. Last week, leaders from the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Hungary and the breakaway group that goes by the name Karak signed a document entitled Joint Declaration on Settling the Past and Building a Common Future. The document acknowledges that the Adventist Church in Hungary expelled the protesting group of 518 members in 1975 largely without merit. Karak has between 1,500 and 1,800 members. Church leaders say while 400 members don't plan to return to the Adventist Church, 600 members of Karak say they will return within a few months and the remaining members are open to the idea. Ben Schoen, a general vice president of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, who was also instrumental in the reconciliation process, shares how this benefits the church in Hungary. The, uh, obviously, bringing these two groups together gives a unified front for the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the country of Hungary. There have been two groups, and the government sometimes isn't sure how to relate to two Adventist groups. And so it has caused problems and difficulties. And so it's very important to have a sense of oneness and unity in the church in Hungary for its witness to people. And the next steps, of course, is even though they've made the decision to come together, there's a lot of details that they need to work out. How are they going to incorporate the pastors into one unified system? What are they going to do with the assets of this other group? And uh, so many details need to be decided upon and worked out. But I'm very thrilled to see the determination of the current leaders of what we call this Carrick group wanting to come back to the church and be a part of the worldwide Seventh-day Adventist Church. It's a wonderful decision that they've made and I can only pray that it will continue in a positive and peaceful way.